Hi, my name is Ashish. And in this video, we will see read Azure Keyword Secrets in an ASP.NET Core app. So let me just quickly log on to the Azure Cloud Shell and portal and take it from there. So let me quickly create a key vault. So good practice is to create a separate vault for each deployment uh, environment of each of your applications, such as development, test, and production. We can use a single vault to store secrets for multiple apps and environments, but the impact of a hacker gaining read access to a vault increases with the number of secrets in the vault. And uh, creating a vault requires no initial configuration. Our identity is automatically granted the full set of secret management permissions. Then we can start adding secrets immediately. So the ID with which I'm logged in would have by default the permissions. And when we set our application to use the vault, we will need to assign the correct permissions to it. Right, so let me quickly create the vault right so i'm creating a easy key vault create command this would be the resource group because i have activated my sandbox with which i get free sandbox environment to do my laps and here i will type in my name okay Let's see now. The status you see is that it is running. Okay. You see here that I have my key vault created. That I created using that one. And you would see here that I, I don't have any secrets as of yet. All right. It is done now. What I'll do is, so this is the JSON that you get, right? with all the configuration now we'll add the secret so i would use the command copy it's not working so i've created this name the password the value and i'll do create it has created it let me launch the azure cloud shell to create a dot net app for this video okay Right, so we'll create a new ASP.NET Core Web API app and open it in the editor on the command. So let me, it's a bash. Let me paste it. And it will do this. So if the restore is succeeded. So if I do this and I do CD key vault demo app, and I would do open up the code editor, right? So after this editor loads to add the NuGet package containing the add as your key vault and restore all of the apps dependencies in the cloud shell, we will run these commands. So I will do .NET add package azure dot identity i'm sorry and i would do dot net package azure dot extension dot asp net core dot configuration 
dot secrets and then I will do dot net restore so I would run these commands here okay I would then run the second command and I would do dot net restore awesome so you don't have to I just typed it so that I can copy and paste it while running it right so add code to uh, load and use secret so to demonstrate good usage of key vault we will modify the app to load secrets from the vault at startup we will also add a new controller with an endpoint that gets our secret password secret from the vault first the app startup So I would do this file. So this is my existing file. All right. So I will remove the, the content. I will update it with the new code. And I will replace the vault name here. So I have updated that and I will click on save. The only change from the starter code is the addition of config app configuration here. So this is where we load the vault name here, this part. And uh, next, the controller create a new file in the controllers folder called secret test controller dot cs. So let me create. So this is the one part I will create a new file. here so I will to create a new file I will I'll type in touch controllers because I want to create under controllers secret test controller dot cs see I refresh it I see this file I will go and paste the code here I pasted the code let me see if I want to update and the secret name I have to change the secret name right so I go to the key vault it is my secret so my secret name is this reindeer I will paste it here save it okay and I will run dot net build to build this local package see it mm. 
namespace could not be found. So this is how you create it and then you modify the code to add the secret. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. Please let me know if you have any queries in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video.